start first. Now, uh, this was all these entries were from the previous uh, last week's report itself. Okay, just give me a second. Let me drink a bit of water. Right. So what you can see, price broke over here and then created the and then came down one more time doing the third movement, confirming the the uptrend is in motion and uh, creating the gaps. And uh, that's where you can you could have entered right over here and go for that. It'll give you some nice returns. OK, so that's the US dollar index. Uh, this was the pound dollar. If you are an early bird, then you would have caught this worm right over here. One, one movement down, correction for another movement down, confirming the uh, uh, break of structure as well as the change of character from the previous upwards movement. I can see price reverse forward and then drop all the way from there. So, uh, entry wise. Uh, this all these areas would have been your entry areas. For the yen, same thing, no changes, up, down, pushing up, taking off here, creating the gaps and uh, following the rules of the gap rule that on the M5, this uh, area pointed by the red arrow is an area that you have taken for the dollar yen. Oops, Daisy. Uh... And then you have the dollar Swiss doing the same thing right over here. Uh, moving up after testing your area, the dollar Swiss. Aussie dollar as well, same thing. Down, up, and down. Okay, and that created the, 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 the gap right over here. So we have filled that and that started its movement down. So uh, dollar candy, next one right here, right? So same thing, you can see push up, break. Those are the gaps. Those is where you have filled the gaps and then it moves upwards, right? 